This is a review of landmark papers for damage control laparotomy from the East Landmark Papers online resource. The purpose of this paper was to describe one institution's technique of sequential abdominal closure using negative pressure wound therapy during index hospitalization. Multiple techniques have been described to obtain fascial closure after prolonged open abdomen. In this paper, the authors have modified a traditional vac technique by covering the bowel with multiple white vac sponges in a patchwork-like fashion to prevent bowel from extruding between the sponges. The sponges are also positioned under the fascial edges. The fascia is then placed under moderate tension over the white sponges using number one PDS sutured five centimeters apart with full thickness fascial bites. Large black back sponges and suction are placed over the white sponges and secured with an occlusive dressing. Patients return to the operating room every two days for sequential fascial closure and replacement of the sponges, resulting in a decrease in the fascial defect. 14 patients underwent this technique. Nine were for damage control surgery and five for abdominal compartment syndrome. Average time to closure was 7.5 days with an average of 4.6 laparotomies done prior to closure. All patients eventually had primary fascial closure. In conclusion, this is a viable modified vacuum-assisted closure technique to achieve fascial approximation.